one voluptuous bite can stop you in your tracks with perfect buttercream texture and flavor that blooms. It takes a community to craft ice creams the way we do. Because to us, flavor is everything. If you live in a qualified zip code, you may be eligible to receive USA-made solar panels for no cost at install and get paid more than $2,039 after the panels are installed on your home. Here's how it works. First, you have to see if you may qualify for this limited time offer by clicking the button below. If you fall... Now to tonight's targeted investigation. Our investigators are getting a West Michigan take on the federal government... And the government's new attitude, what it means to them. Here's Target 8 investigator Henry Erb. Today, 3894. The time is 2130 hours. This is what they're waiting on the camera for. I'll explain lights over Holland on March 8th, 1994. Strange stuff. Didn't look like a plane or anything else people are used to. Had him calling 911. They're like Christmas lights. Holly Graves' family watched for 20 minutes from their front yard. Colored lights slowly rotating. When all of a sudden my son just started screaming. You know, get out here, get out here, you gotta see this. It was a big sighting, there was a lot of news coverage, and for a while, Holly kept her kids out of school. And they just went through a really hard time, because they know what they saw. It was like everybody still laughing at you. People forget that the new and UFO stands for unidentified. That means nobody knows what they are. Still, that's never stopped people from speculating, sometimes choosing up sides, even getting nasty. They accused us of being in the backyard smoking weed with her and doing drugs with our kids. That was MUFON. It's been nearly 30 years, but the experience left a mark. Holly says even today, her now adult children don't want to talk about it. But listen to her. I'm glad my family got to see it. I really am. It's like once in a lifetime to see this. You listen to her nearly 30 years later, and it seems like the experience changed her in some way. It's an experience that I'll take to my grave with me. So you're, you're looking at this thing that night, and, and what, the, what were you thinking? Um, um, I was thinking I was going to lose my job. <laughs> Jack Bushong's job was meteorologist for the National Weather Service at a station in Muskegon. Ottawa County Central Dispatch was getting a lot of UFO reports and reached out to him for radar. He found out later the conversation was recorded. Then I was really scared and I lost, uh, lost sleep. He fretted about what people would think about what he was seeing. People think you're a kook, you know? Uh, you're lying, you're not credible. I'm supposed to be a scientist and skeptical. On the recording, you can hear Bushong calmly controlling the radar by hand, trying to zero in. When he finally gets the picture... <laughs>
That has everything to do with it, yeah. The government is now releasing video of sightings by the military and admitting in this report just released that people really are seeing things that nobody can figure out. Bushong says a lot of the video and descriptions are just like what he saw on radar nearly 30 years ago. I guess I've been waiting for this vindication, which I didn't think I was going to get all my life, so I was just going to let it die out. But now with the military coming out and basically saying exactly the same thing I saw 30 years ago, um, I can finally <laughs> say to people, told you so, you know. Bushong says he's going to write a scientific paper about his experience in 1994. And nearly 30 years after seeing the same thing from her front yard, Holly Graves has a wish. I wish everybody would see it. I do. I wish everybody would see it because it was, uh, it was an experience of a lifetime. I'm Target 8 investigator Henry Earp. In every very good UFO event, there is that extra where you can accept it or not. I was just in awe. Dude, this is straight out of a Steven Spielberg movie. While the first part of our Rendlesham report focused on the hard facts, audio recordings, and physical evidence pointing to something unexplainable happening in the forest there in 1980, that wasn't the whole story. In this episode, I talk with retired Air Force officer Jim Penniston, who also claims to have encountered the UFO. But what he says happened to him is bonkers. What appeared in the forest floor in front of me was a triangular craft. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, his tale will challenge you to decide where you draw the line between reality and science fiction. And when you're talking about UFOs, the boundary isn't always so clear. This is the basic one. For those of us just joining us in this episode, Nick Pope spent 21 years in the Ministry of Defense in the UK. Yeah, 
Okay, we're gonna have to take that camera and come meet sometime. Yeah. 